It does look a lot better than a gray, doesn't it? <sighs> you know what? I'm good. Let's go ahead and do a test patch. I know I'll probably get rained off or turn into a run here in a little bit, but I want to do a test patch on how I look on the bigger wheels. I'm gonna take a chance right now and get a little rain on my camera and phone. I may regret it, but I'm just kind of curious on how this is gonna look. I just do the center. Hope y'all can see that. <laughs> I know it ain't gonna be perfect because it's gonna probably get some rain droplets on it, but I'm not too worried about it. What do y'all think? Looks a little better, don't it? Oh yeah, that looks a little better. That's got me wanting to paint the rest of the wheel. <laughs> That's all right, no rush to paint the rest of it. I need to really move that, adjust that wheel. Well, I can move, move the fenders up just a little bit more than they are. I you know right here back here, there's... Well, you can't see it right now, it's covered up with dirt. But there's another patch, of, another set of holes where this fender can go into to make it a little bit right about, right about here. Or mount right about here. And I can leave, technically leave the tire there, but it will rub. So I need to move the... Make it... Self adjust where it can be a little, where the tire be a little bit further away. Got it to both sides.
what y'all think? You think it'll look good? And like I said, I know I'm getting, I'm getting over spray on the tire, but I'm not that worried about that. I just figured I'd do that just to see how it's going to look. Oh, that's going to look nice, with the, especially with that new wheel we're going on this side, too. I put a, as soon as the weather is nice again, may finish putting a, the rest of this can on that wheel. Well, I guess the rain's setting in for the day. And that means I need to, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here in just a second. Let me get you right here to, oh, mercy. Go ahead and get the tripod shortened up a little. Y'all getting a whole 360 degrees from underneath the carport. <laughs> This week, I'm going to go to Tractor Supply or here in Paris or since I'm so close, I may even go to the one in Murray, Kentucky and see and see what they got in Baby Chicks because I want to get some this week before it gets too much into the summer and uh, I got to mow this week, got to go pay a, go pay a couple bills for my mom this week. Yes, I got bills too, but I try to take care of my own. But I do help out with the main bills as well when I can. I'd like to get a few more yards to mow. If you're around Henry County or Carroll County, don't be afraid to give me a message because I wouldn't mind having a few more yards to mow this year. It doesn't even have to be a yard. It can be just an empty lot that you own. I don't mind mowing it. But right now it's going to be with a ride more, so bear with me. Yes, I need to get. A, I want to get a three point, a bush saw to using that three point on that because that look that pull tap is all right. But I know with a three point I can at least raise it up a lot higher than I can on that one. It's manual. It it won't go much more than a that one on that one won't go much higher than that. And I'd like for it to be a little bit higher than that when I first bush hogging with it. So I gotta find me a three-point hitch bush hog. That'll fit that little 1010. So, uh, so if you got a lot that needs mowed in Henry County or Carroll County here in Tennessee, that is, don't be afraid to let me know, and I can I can give you a rough estimate what I charge. I mean, shoot. I know there's some around, I know there's several around here that's charging several hundred, uh, several dollars for mowing and weeding, but I'd rather uh, cut myself a little short on the price because I know with everything that's going on, it's, it's rough for some people to make payments. Like, you know, I know there's some places that charge maybe eighty dollars an acre or something like that i can't i don't know how much exactly but i know there's it's roughly i know i did a rough estimate on this and this is probably here alone just roughly the five acres it is that i mow i just want to charge almost a hundred dollars an acre for the rough estimate i get and for someone like me or my mom that's on a fixed income that's a little high I'd rather work with somebody on the price. I mean, shoot, I'd rather do... I mean, when me and my dad were mowing yards together, when we still when we still lived in Carroll County, that was, what, 50, 50 to $60 a yard is all we did charged. And that was in, with weed eating, $50, $60 a yard. And the yards were roughly between one and three acres. Actually, half acre, half acre to three acres, which fifty, sixty dollars a yard. Had a good, 
I guess that's, I think we had about eight, eight to ten yards, give or take. Mainly depend on how often they want to mow. I mean, we're doing pretty good there, but then it got to where people wanted us to mow just once a month. And that one's going to be a little bit hard to do because when you get there once a month, you ain't really got... <laughs> that, that wasn't going to work. I mean, because she... I mean, yeah, we had a little... little we had a couple snapper, right? Little rear mounted, rear engine snappers, yeah. They cut it, but be a lot of wear and tear on the mower. But anyways... I want to say thank y'all for, I want to say thank you for being a subscriber, or even if you're not a subscriber, thank you for watching, but I would appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, I'm going to do my best to bring up more videos as soon as I can, I hope y'all aiming at me, so this is the bad part about having a phone because I can't see the other side to see where where the camera's pointing. But uh, yeah, I want I want y'all to please subscribe. I know I've noticed I got a few more subscribers here recently. I want to thank each and every one of you very much for subscribing. And don't worry, I'm gonna do my best to bring more more stuff of me doing things and less talking. I know the talking does get kind of old, but. I figured I'd share that one video, that one little, those couple of little stories, because I got, got the thing about that one video I saw on YouTube of that guy I follow about his little incident. It made me think of those two incidents. And I hope you enjoyed me painting the, the wick tractor wheel. And I gave a shout out on Instagram to the place, you know, uh, that did the work for it, because it was a reasonable price for them. I mean, granted, I didn't get the tire from them. I didn't get the inner tube from them. Which next time I may just to see what the see what they charge. Because I'm gonna at least try to see if I can't find a tractor tire that's from America. That one actually came from India. <laughs> I'd like. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice to buy from countries, but I'm I'm. I was grown, I was raised to buy f that from, that's American made or American built. So that's why I'm going to try my best next time to, you know, get a, get an American made tractor tire, like Firestone or something like that. Cause that's what's on the back of that tractor. Actually, one of those tires is brand new. The other one's factory from 64 or 62, whenever that tractor was new. In fact, both of those front tires are original too. But anyways, y'all please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I plan on bringing more videos out here soon. I may even bring out a few videos of me mowing some yards next week. Granted, it's going to be in several parts because my, my phone will only record about th roughly 30 minutes at a time. So this, this video here is going to be in two parts because of how long it's gotten, which is 50 minutes almost. Anyways, thank you for just 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 watching or and commenting or anything. Don't be afraid to give me a like and subscribe. And also for the and I'm gonna give another shout out since I did on Instagram. I'm gonna give a shout out to West's Wheel and Tire here in Paris on the 218 bypass. It was a very good price, and they were very. They did a. It was a good price, and it's very quick. It didn't take them long to get it mounted and everything. So if you're ever here, go by West Wheel and Tire on 218 Bypass here in Paris, Tennessee. I guarantee you they probably be willing to work with you. Once again, thank you, and have a great weekend. And to all the mothers out there, grandmothers, and everybody, Happy Mother's Day tomorrow on April. On Mother's Day, y'all have a safe, safe week. Enjoy the weekend. And once again, I love wake. Like I said, I love waking up every morning. 
and thanking the good Lord for every every morning I wake up. So have a great weekend and great week, y'all. God bless.